Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are here with some familiar faces and that of course includes Petra but it also includes her mate Charon and yes that's right Petra did find her way back to Yellowstone after being stranded in Lost River for her previous litter. Uh, unfortunately, during an unexpectedly fearsome spring snowstorm, Petra had gotten stranded and lost her way and found herself all the way out somewhere in the unknown in Lost River with a litter of pups on the way. She wasn't able to find Charon and her first litter, so she ended up having to seek help from a yearling named Loki who had lost his birth pack, and working together, they were able to... Um, they were able to help at least some of her pups survive. We had a rough time with the Lost River illnesses. I think that, well, the map is different. <laughs> oh, that, that caught me off guard. <laughs> um, oh, anyway, uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, we're on the new beta. Um, and we have known wolves. We'll take a look at that in a second. But I was going to say, we're, let's start establishing a territory while we wait here. Um, but yeah, with his help, uh, they were able to have at least two of the pups survive, and Loki himself got a bit more preparation for being out on his own than he would have otherwise had. He wasn't doing very well. He was honestly struggling quite a lot, barely scraping by and scavenging off the cattle ranch. But they survived until summer. The pups were a little bit bigger and better able to travel, and then set out again in search of Charon and Petra's first litter, who they ultimately did end up finding. Uh, Petra has been reunited with her mate, and presumably with her older pups. I ho hope she got to see them before she they dispersed. I imagine she would have. And Charon got to meet his second litter, who he wouldn't have otherwise, at least the surviving two members. And Loki, the wolf who had been helping Petra along the way. I have to imagine that was a bit of a tense meeting. Charon can be a bit of a scary guy, but um, in the end, I think that it worked out. However, as you may have noticed, Loki isn't here with us, and that's because by the time this meeting happened, it was about time when he would have been setting out on his own anyway. And so he opted not to stay with the pack, instead bidding them farewell and actually returning to Lost River, where I'm sure he's having quite a few adventures of his own. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get to see some of those adventures at some point in the future. Uh, but that left Petra and Charon and their pups to set out again into, well, not quite Slough Creek. This is actually Amethyst Mountain. Uh, we're up pretty far to the north of it. I have to remember where all the dens are. <laughs> uh, because in Charon's searching and Petra's wandering, they didn't end up exactly where they started out. Uh, they have made it here to Amethyst Mountain, decided that this was a good enough place to settle down uh, rather than heading all the way back to their previous home of Slough Creek. So they're going to be staying here at least for this year. But that brings us around to the topic of the new beta, which we're going to be checking out here. And one of the major things about that is that you can actually now move maps. Uh, you can see if we hide the packed territories, there's a whole segment here that says to Slaw Creek. And we do have another Yellowstone map that they've talked about being on the way uh, that is, I think, adjacent to Slaw Creek. So you can now move around between maps. And not only can you move between maps, but the way that we track wolves in this game and the persistence with which they, they they exist in the world has changed a bit. And you may notice now that Petra and Charon both have numbers by their names here. Petra has a 28F, Charon has 1146M. Uh, they are both age four. They are the same age, but the numbers are a little bit different <laughs> because of the heckery with Petra leaving the map. But we also have this, and right now there's not really anything on it, but this will fill up with wolves as we meet them in the world. You can also see that we have Rescue Creek, the Molly's Pack, and Lamar canyon on this map currently so sooner or later we'll bump into other wolves we'll start to see them persisting you can even nickname them and throughout the years we'll continue playing on hopefully we'll be staying on this one save file set and seeing how the area around us changes throughout the years 
that uh, we hang out here. Now, we may or may not see any with this mountain. We will be for this year at least. Uh, next year probably depends on how it goes. Petra might go back to Slough Creek. She might decide to stay here on Amethyst Mountain uh, if she can even find the dens to begin with. Oh, and speaking of other wolves, this is a great chance to go check this out. We've got some dispersals, so let's just go see how this works. Now, we are jumping right in with our main legacy because this is something that shows up best with multiple years and with our wayfinders we usually only play one with each of the little subsets the sub packs that we've been doing so i did opt to jump straight into this with our main legacy however please do keep in mind that this is a public beta and it will be for the entirety of petra's playthrough most likely so if things get weird you see some bugs something that shouldn't be happening uh it's still a work in progress they're still ironing out some of the last little wrinkles and oh yeah we've got skulls and stuff now too <laughs> uh, there's a lot that Petra had not seen on her previous run. Um, but yeah, there's some little things that might not quite be working as intended. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can find these dispersal wolves here and see if we can maybe get some names on our known wolves just so that we can see how that works. Oh, there they are. Do you see them up in the distance? Cougar Creek and a, an actual cougar heading towards them. <laughs> Although it seems they've gotten scared off, but you can see there's some wolves up here. And if we get close enough to them, we now have a known wolf. Uh, 1009M and 1203M. Now, these guys are not going to be too friendly to us. Uh, Karen, let's maybe not... Let's, okay, they're leaving. <laughs> Let's not actually pick a fight. I didn't want to actually get into conflict with them. I just want to see them here. So you can see now we've got some dispersals on Amethyst Mountain. Uh, we can name them if we like to. One of those four years old, one of those three years old. You can see their designations uh, and their status here. So if they die, if something happens to them, then we'll, we'll be able to see that as well. And the same thing will happen on the other side for pack wolves. So it's a lot to cover. Uh, uh, it's a lot to talk about off the top of my head, but uh, we will be um, we will be seeing it throughout gameplay. So just keep an eye out. We'll check in with that occasionally. And I'm really excited about this update because I think it's going to make the world that we're in a lot more dynamic. And this has actually given us a territory to claim. We haven't really been actually claiming claiming, so we probably ought to get going on that. I guess we'll go ahead and assume this will probably be part of our territory and take it anyway. But... I think it's going to be really interesting to see some of the stories unfold in the world around us uh, because as we naturally meet wolves throughout the course of the gameplay, we might notice some that stand out. We might form relationships or rivalries with them. Uh, we might see some die. We might see some upsets. Uh, the packs are not static anymore either, so we might see that change through the years. There's a lot that can happen uh, with this new dynamic system, and I think it's going to make storytelling in this game a whole lot more interesting and that is what i love so much about wolf quest is they do all these all all these detailed things that just they make this world so interesting to play with uh and so interesting to see stories unfold it's just i i have so much respect for the game design <laughs> um I think it's going to be really cool to get to see not just the story of our pack, the Steadfast pack and our other legacy packs unfold, but the stories of the packs around them through trials and tragedies, triumphs and failures. We're going to get to see the world around us live and breathe as well. And that's going to have some interesting ramifications, especially for the series, which heavily rely on the rival packs. I'm really curious to see what impact this will have, for example, on the Elements pack, whose stories have been very intertwined with some of the rivals, but we'll get to those stories later. Uh, there's, there's, We're not quite ready to head back to them just yet, but that's something that I'm very much looking forward to revisiting in the future. In any case, I'm going to stop talking finally <laughs> and let Petra and Karen get to their territory marking, start establishing themselves out here, maybe meet some of the other residents of Amethyst Mountain, uh, probably just dispersals, but who knows? Maybe Stranger Wolves too, we'll have to see. 
and see if we can finally find some freaking dens, because we have not seen a single one thus far. We've just been kind of wandering aimlessly. But you know what? I think that's fair. Petra and Charon have needed some time to catch up. Uh, I did go ahead as well and boost their bond to three. We're going to continue to use that mechanic at least through the end of this set. So when we get back to Cassia, I'll talk more about how that's been reworked. Uh, obviously, in Cassia's story, we had some upsets there with the way we're going to be doing things. And when we return to Lost Tales, uh, I want to do some things differently there as well. But I did go ahead for the time being and boost these guys to three bond, because even though they spent a year apart, uh, I think that their, their reunion was made that much sweeter and drew them that much closer. And I don't really want to penalize Petra for a story element that was just purely narrative. <laughs> uh, I think it's, I, I think she's earned this after everything she went through in Lost River. So we'll, we'll let them start with three bond and hopefully we'll not have to worry about needing that. But as we saw with Cassia's story, uh, sometimes this world can be a dangerous one. Ah, finally, I'm pretty sure I see a den in the distance. See that big downed tree? I think that's where we're heading. And to be honest, I think Petra is just grateful to have found a den at all. If we find any other options, we might, uh, we, we might take that, or we might switch this around. But honestly, after everything she's been through, after all the ups and downs and uncertainties of having to try to find her way home, that's not where the den is, the den's over here. <laughs> uh, I think that she's just happy to be back with Charon and to be safe. Certainly she will miss Loki, but she knows the way of the wolf and, you know, she had to disperse once herself too. It wouldn't be right to demand he stay forever if he's being called to start his own life, much as she once was, much as Charon once was. And I imagine maybe, you know, maybe some of her, maybe some of her first letter went with him. Who knows? Uh, maybe he, maybe he hung out with some of his adoptive siblings because they would be getting to be about that same age too and ready to head out on their own for the fall as well. So who knows? Maybe some of her descendants will end up in Lost River uh, from the first litter too. Uh, it, it, it all kind of depends. We'll have to see what their stories bring and uh, which wolves are interested in following. But yeah, I think for now we'll set up as if we're going to hang out at this den. And if we find one that particularly strikes our fancy, we might change that up. But for now, uh, we'll plan on staying here. Uh-oh. We just entered this hex, and it is, uh, being claimed, so perhaps we should unclaim that. There we go, now it's claimed for us. Uh, I think I'll just put the scent post here, I won't worry about scooting it closer, because goodness sakes, these packs are aggressive! Oh boy. You know, I want to see the new known wolf system in action, but I... I'm feeling like we're gonna get jumped here if we're not careful. Ah, there we go. Well, of course, we are the Steadfast Pack. We'll go ahead and keep that name. And I think we're gonna move on to Choose a Den. We've got kind of a small, strange territory here, but... I think, despite the fact that she usually pre prefers a much larger one... Uh, it's not Petra's top priority. We will howl a bit to get this hex up, and this is what the actual shape of our territory ended up looking like, which will probably end up at one of- I think this den is the one, I think? We'll see. Well, it's one of those two, but uh, we can kind of shape our, our territory better around it and then be more forceful about claiming after the fact. Right now, I think Petra's just eager to get established somewhere. Is it this one right here? We'll see. Let's head back over and we'll pick our den shortly. Oh, the pronghorn are new too. They were not uh, not around on the slopes of Yellowstone the last time she was here. That's going to be an interesting change for her as well, although I don't know if even Petro's fast enough to catch them. And this is indeed the den, so we'll just stay here. We're going to have quite a bit of work to do on the territory. It's a wooded den, which I think is preferable. We'll have to worry about cougars, but thankfully not eagles. 
Petra's had a bad experience with them before, of course. And I think we're actually going to call this then Sanctuary, because... Whew, boy does it feel like one after the journey she's been on. We have to pick our perks for the year, too. I don't really remember which ones we had. Speed, Youthful Perez, and Territorial Might. I think she'd still take Territorial Might, and oh... I was gonna say that it would be good to have speed again because we want to maintain the larger territory, but it looks like she's getting a bit too old for that. I'd also use good memory, but I don't know. I think that one I'm okay leaving behind. Maybe... I think we'll go with Youthful Prowess again. And to be honest, maybe Strength. Or maybe stamina. If we can't have speed, then I think we'll take stamina, actually. Although I think that's going to go away next year, too. But for now, this should help us maintain that larger territory if we can. Cling to that a little while longer. But let's go ahead. We'll advance to age five. We can't go back. That's fine. And... Here we are, look at the babies! Okay, so you can see something has changed here too. No longer do they have the two, three, four designations. Now they're simply 1826, 1827, 1828, 1829, 1830, and 1831. And those numbers will change more than usual with time, I think. We'll get a better sense for their pattern over the years. But let's get to meet them now. We won't be naming them right away, uh, but we will be naming them faster than normal. In fact, a lot of Petra series is going to be pre-recorded because I am preparing for my Christmas travel. So we're going to be naming these guys pretty soon. If you have a name idea, uh, then definitely get it in now because we're going to be naming them within just a couple of days. Not usually, not the way we usually do where we take kind of a week break in between. And I think only two of them are female, right? Yeah, in fact, the females are the ones who have just entered the open. Oh, hello, you two. You seem a bit more adventurous, a bit like your mother. Uh, let's maybe go ahead. We'll give them a little bit of food because it's going to take a while for the wobbly little babies to get out here in the open. We've got 1826 here as well. He's male. And then 1827 is also male. Oh, they're so cute. And are any of them runts? Possibly 1831. So that's this little one right here is the smallest of our pups. And she could be a runt. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, 1828 looks much like his brother. A little bit darker and more reddish, I think. But pretty similar to 1827. And I think we've got just one more, and then Charon himself must be in there with them. Yeah, 1829, here he comes. Oh! Honestly, he takes after Loki a little bit. Like, I know they're not blood-related, but just seeing that coat makes me think of Loki. <laughs> oh, I wonder... I wonder if Petra would give him a name similar to that. It must be from Charon's side. I think that is a black coat, if I'm not mistaken. It's just a very pale tinted one, so it probably won't stay very gray when 1829M grows up. But I could see her naming him something that, uh, that reminds her of her adoptive pup slash little sibling. I don't know. I think, I think maybe a general family label, but... He definitely became part of the pack, even if he wasn't related to them by blood, and Petra's never gonna forget his help. She truly needed it, and I think Loki needed her too. It was an unusual bond forged out of unusual circumstances, but I think it's one that they both emerged the better from. But I think we are going to go ahead and actually leave this off here for today. We'll get to know these guys a bit more in the next episode and we'll get to work widening our territory because I don't think Petra feels too comfortable with very aggressive packs and uh, not too much buffer. In fact, who... Our home hex is here. It does have a dot now, by the way, which is lovely. Uh, love that. That's great change. <laughs> I love not having to zoom way in to see where it falls, but 
we're gonna have to deal with a lot of this. In fact, these hexes probably weren't necessary. I thought it might be one of these two. So we're gonna have a lot of work to do here before Lamar Canyon decides to cause problems or rescue Craker Mollies because I don't doubt they would as well. But we'll go ahead and we'll leave this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.